What are we talking about? We are talking about Berserk! So, a long, long time ago, in an anime shop not so far away, I bought a puck figurine, and nobody knew who the fuck that was, and I'm like, you guys don't read Berserk, you're not cool. And especially considering my figurine is like the chibi puck, so, you know, he looks all funky. But now everybody knows who that is, and now I'm like, yay, you're all posers. You didn't know. Some of you may remember a long, long time ago, I did Berserk, the series, which was the old anime. And then, not too long ago, I did the Berserk, the Golden Age Arc Trilogy movies. This Berserk series is a continuation of the Golden Age Arc Trilogy movies. Look, if you're a fan of Berserk, like me, you're gonna watch the series. Even though it looks like total shit! Oh my god! It looks like crap, except the opener. The opener looks amazing, especially that first opener, which is just like, hey, remember all that stuff that ripped your heart out from the, from the Golden Age arc movies? We're just going to show you that really fast and stomp your heart into oblivion before you start the new arc, which is the Black Swordsman arc. And yeah, that opener fucks you up, because it's the worst, best parts of the Golden Age. Only they're coming at you really fast, because, hey, look, is that Judo dead on the ground? Yup. The nice thing about this series is it does pick up after the Golden Age arc movies slash the original anime series. It is the Black Swordsman and beyond. They cover the Conviction arc. There's a lot of shit they're doing. They're skipping a lot of stuff, but at the same time, I can understand why they wouldn't want to animate a bunch of children raping and murdering each other. Because that happens in the manga. I get it. They're skipping stuff. They got stuff. In the Black Swordsman arc, Guts is basically hunting apostles. He's basically walking around hunting apostles. If you're an apostle, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. Guts is looking for revenge. He's going to tear open every apostle he can find so he can get to the God Hand and fuck those guys with a cannon arm in the face. Because he's got one of those now. And it's rad. It does turn into an ensemble piece, but at the same time, you kind of need that, especially considering the rest of your ensemble is dead, and you were really attached to them, so getting a new ensemble isn't the worst thing. You have new characters, and you kind of have mixed feelings about these new characters, because they're trying to fill old character shoes, but, you know, it's not the same. Fuck you. You're not Judo. Isidro, he's this little thief punk that is following Guts around because he wants to be strong like Guts. And he's annoying and kind of funny. He can kind of hold his own, but at the same time, you know, Guts has to save him. Puck and Isidro are definitely your comic relief, because otherwise it's really dark and depressing. And people are just getting raped and tortured and eaten just all the time. The first time, like, Puck did something that I really, really laughed at was when Isidro was trying to steal Guts' sword. And Puck was like egging him on, now you gotta pick it up! And then when he picked it up, he fell on him. And Guts wakes up and looks over at Puck, and Puck goes, I caught a thief. <laughs> He's just standing on him, <laughs> under this sword. I caught a thief! Right? It was funny as shit. <laughs> I am enjoying Puck. He's funny. They, they, they animate him well. Puck is an elf. He looks like a pixie, but he's an elf. He's got little wings. He's an he's a elf. He can heal Guts with his little elf dust. He's useful. And he's funny. So, yay, that's what Guts needs, because otherwise Guts is quickly being devoured by the revenge beast that lives inside of him. Quickly. It's bad. Casca's broken. Her mind is broken. Remember the warrior Casca? Remember how badass of a warrior she was? Well, now she's walking around like this. And that's how she is now. You know what happened to her and it sucks! And you're super pissed off! And now you understand how Guts feels. All the time. And since he's got this goddamn brand on him, there's no sleep because every time the sun goes down, fucking evil spirits try to eat his face. They use this, this super crappy 3D animation that looks super shitty. And the only thing I can think of for why it's being done that way is because they're trying to make it as fast and as inexpensive as possible. That's the only reason you would do this. You're on a time crunch and you don't have a big budget. Okay, so make it rough and dirty. You're gonna stick around for the story because man oh man, they are telling that story, but like watching it 
If you're a fan of animation, this is not your thing. It looks like shit! The opener looks amazing. Every once in a while you'll get some traditional animation within the episode and it looks amazing. Because they use this like, these line shadows, they use these dirty line shadows that actually look really good in the 2D version. It makes it look really rough and sketchy and fits very well within the context of Berserk. Because the manga is extremely rough and dirty, even though it's quite beautiful in its grotesqueness. Honestly, if you want to experience Berserk to the fullest, pick up the fucking manga. Pick it up and power through. The anime as a whole is not bad. It helps if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, the, the animation is not going to draw you in because it really isn't. It is a little slow. It's, it's a slow boil. There's action. When action happens, it's great. But once again, they're not using really good 3D animation. So when it's action-y time, it looks weird. I mean, the music's pretty good. The voice acting is excellent. Don't get me wrong. The voice acting is excellent. The music is really good. But the animation is not gonna make you go, ooh, this animation, because it isn't. The story is there. Holy fuck, the story is there. Granted, if you want a complete experience, just pick up the manga. But my official rating and my unofficial rating system, totally watchworthy. You should check it out. Berserk. It's on Crunchyroll. Find it. Watch it. This is Annie View by Dave. I, of course, am Dave. If you have any questions, comments, confusions, suggestions, put them below, and I will get back to you. See you next time, Berserkos. You meet Farnese and Serpico in, in season one of the new anime, and at first they're his enemies, they're dicks, all right? They work for the what, the Holy Chain Knights or the Heavy Holy Chain Knights from the Holy Sea or whatever. They're fucking evil, but they're under the guise of good, which is the most prevalent way evil expands is saying they're good, all right? And they don't know any better because they're blind sheep. And of course it's a fucking religion, of course it is! And you know, they have this fucking cardinal asshole, was his name Mosgus or whatever his fucking name is, and he's a fucking asshole. And I hate his fucking stupid face. Urgh, I hate his fucking face. It's all big and veiny and square. Urgh. This guy's a fuck. And frankly, he gets off pretty easy with just a sword through the face. All right, he gets off pretty easy if you ask me. So after Farnese captures Guts and tortures the fuck out of him, which, but whatever, it's Guts. He's been to hell. You think you can hurt me? Hell no, you little girl. He captures her half naked and is still hunting apostles, but he needs to get out of here. So he grabbed a hostage, which just happened to be like the commander. And you know, Farnese almost got raped by a demon horse. It's so creepy with his big face. Ugh. <sighs> and even though Guts totally saves her ass from getting horse raped, she's still mad at him. And that means I'm still mad at her. Fuck you, Farnese. And fuck you, Serpico. You're a little dick with your, with your closed eyes, little shithead. He's pretty good, though. Serpico, Serpico can fight. And now Guts is babysitting again. Casca, Farnese, Isidro, Serpico, and in the anime currently, well, actually, he's not babysitting Shuriki because she can hold her own. And I'm really excited because we should be getting Guts in Berserk armor. And in the season two opener, which is going on right now, it's totally in the opener. So I'm hoping we're going to get it like within the next two, three, maybe four episodes. But we're definitely going to get it this season, and I'm super excited. At the end of season one, Griffith comes back. And you're so fucking mad at him. I'm so fucking pissed at you, Griffith. Oh, God, I'm so fucking mad at Griffith. Fucking Griffith replaces the entire Band of the Hawk with an entirely new Band of the Hawk, and you can tell who's supposed to be who. But the one that really hurts the most is when he gets New Ricket. New Ricket is like, oh, you son of a... He's not even dead, and you're replacing him. Granted, he goes to him and asks him if he wants to join up again. Like, it's cool, man. Hey, you know that thing I did? Whatevs. Don't live in the past. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs>
My wife and I are literally screaming, Griffin, you betrayed us! Because he did. And we were pissed. So, so we did the only reasonable, rational thing that we could do. And we got the Berserk and the Band of the Hawk video game and started fucking murdering shit. So the literal translation for the, the Band of the Hawk is the Band of the Hawk. That is the literal translation. However, the original author, Kentaro Mira, used it in the slang. So it's technically the Band of the Falcon because he likes Star Wars. It's the Band of the Millennium Falcon, not the Band of the Millennium Hawk. But if you were to take it from its literal meaning, the way he wrote it down, yeah, it says Hawk. But he didn't mean it that way, so it's Falcon. Because he's a Star Wars nerd. But that's okay. I love that.